ruined city under me. The second and third signs muff. That's the ruined city, all right. We must have walked right over it in the snowstorm. It's my fault. I've given up repeating the signs. I've been thinking about them. I could have seen it was a city, even in all that snow. I'm worse. I did see, or partly. I had a feeling we ought to stop. The truth is, we were so keen on getting to this place, ever since we met that woman with the Black Knight, we nearly forgotten about Prince William. I shouldn't wonder if that isn't exactly what she intended. What I don't understand is how could we miss anything as big and clear as those letters? We didn't. You fell into it. Into the E of me. That was the trench with its three side passages. It's clear that the Green Lady, making you think of hot food and hot water, was to make you forget about everything else. Aslan was right to be angry with me. I should have remembered the signs. What are they? What are they? Hang on. You told them to me. I ought to be able to remember them. First, journey north. Well, we've done that. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Oh, that's that. Two, journey north until you come to the ruined city of the ancient giants. Three, when you find writing on a stone, do what the writing tells you to do. Oh, but... He always goes just when I want him to explain. Well, the writing says under me. It doesn't make much sense. Yes, it does, though. It means that we've got to look for Prince William under that ruined city. But how? Well, we shall just have to go back, I suppose. If we can see the ruined city from here, it can't be far. No point in hanging around for the blessed autumn feast. Let's go now. Haven't you had any breakfast? Oh, yes. Why, we're trapped in here. Scrub, you're never going to manage it. Anyway, do you think the giants really meant to make us their prisoner? Well, whether they did or not, that's what we are. We never get out of here. I shouldn't wonder. Except, we don't know if we are their prisoners. It's not their fault that everything's too big for us. The important thing is to have a strategy. If we do get out of here, what do we do next? Get back to the ruins, stupid. Just a minute ago said so. We have to get out of Hartfang first. Well, there's clearly one to escape by night. Once we're in our rooms and the door's shut, we can't get out. And if we try to escape in daylight, we'll be seen? Oh, dear. Afternoon could still be the best time. When they're dozy after their midday meal. Ooh! Good idea, Paul. Above all, we must be merry and bright. You two youngsters are not always in high spirits, you know. You must watch me. I'll be ever so merry. Yeah. And Folkson. <laughs> Folkson, yeah. You think I'm a funny fellow already in there. You know, you two thought I was rather tipsy last night, didn't you? No. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no. Well, I do assure you it was. Most of it was. Uh, put on, I thought it might come in handy. Anyway, we must appear to be happy here so the giants won't suspect that we're plotting to escape. And we'd better keep our eyes open and learn as much as we can about this place and how we are to escape from it. That is, if we ever do escape. Now, my poppet, you must come and see the king and queen and all the court setting out on the hunt. Oh, it's such a pretty sight. <laughs> come along. Come along. <laughs> now, come along. Come along. It seems we're not prisoners by day, anyway. Oh, they're really friendly. Maybe we've nothing to fear after all. Riding, they're walking. Well, can you imagine any horses big enough to carry that lot? I can't imagine that queen walking. She's going to be around the palace all day. What chance of it? Shh, there she is. Down! No, he's being merry and bright. You're going to your act. Oh, Your Majesty, you're not going away, are you? You will be back soon. 
But of course, my dear. We must be here for the autumn feast tomorrow night. <laughs> we shall be back this evening. We're so longing for tomorrow night. And we do love being here. We do love being here. And while you're out, we may run over the whole castle and see everything, mayn't we? So say yes, and we may come to the feast. Oh, <laughs> you'll be there, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Onward! <laughs> Now I've work to do, my puppets. I hope you can amuse yourselves. With the Queen's permission, we're going to explore the castle. Why, of course. You must feel at home, little ones, for the short time you're with us. There you are. They don't mean to keep us their prisoner. They are so sweet at that age. It does seem such a pity that... <laughs> Good. Oh, thank you. Everyone's so nice. Just doing our job, dear. I can hardly wait for the feast. I wonder what I should wear. I will be allowed to stay up for it, won't I? You will. You certainly will. I wish it was tomorrow night already. I do hope the time goes quickly. Poor little thing. We're thinking we're Go and get that piece of chocolate at once. What is happening to all of us? Get those chocolates done quickly. Are you preparing for the feast tomorrow night? We are, young man. Oh, how exciting. What's that? Oh, it smells lovely. May I try it? Why not? You're a growing child. We must fatten you up. Shoo! Go on, shoo! That's useful to know. Why? You can slip straight out without having to cross the courtyard. Come on, Padogram. Mmm. It's delicious. It's going to be a wonderful feast. I am looking forward to it. Now that's enough, young lady. Otherwise, you'll spoil your lunch. <laughs> never tasted venison before. Isn't it scrumptious? All right, Paul, you don't have to overdo it with us. She's very good. They all love her. I've tried to be friendly, but... Ah, uh, well, girls always do that sort of thing better than boys. Even boys do it better than Marshall would. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> oh, another nice tender haunch of venison for you. That's that was mine, then. When he was caught, he said, don't kill me. You won't enjoy me. I'm terribly tough. <laughs> <laughs> Not another bite. He'd been eating a talking stag. But it's awful to think animals being killed at all for us to eat. I suppose to them, if the animals here do talk, but... Oh, dear. She doesn't understand. You've never lived here before, Paul. Some of my closest friends were talking animals. I suppose so, but we have to eat. We brought down the anger of Aslan. That's what comes of not attending the signs. I'm not too keen on those gentle giants. We've got to make our break this afternoon. Come on, hurry up with those turkeys. I'm not so sure afternoon is the best time. But it is. We're seen in the daylight, we can always say we're out for a walk. Which they wouldn't believe if they found us getting out at night. Don't worry, Paul, we'll manage. 
Leave that hatch door open so the cat can go in and out. Poor thing. Well, that's that done then. Kettle's in its place. That'll make a nice little cup of tea later. First, I shall have a little sit down. I might even have 40 winks. As long as that hunting party doesn't come back too soon wanting this and that. When do they usually come back? There's no telling with them. Oh, do be quiet and sit down for a bit, dearies. Delicious bird can be cooked in a variety of ways. A giant cookbook. I wonder what giants eat. Man, this elegant little biped has long been valued as a delicacy. It forms a traditional part of the autumn feast and is served between the fish and the joint. Oh, Eustace, paddle come up here quick. Marshwiggle! Some authorities think this animal unfit for giant's consumption because of its stringy consistency and muddy flavour. Oh, is that nice? Is that nice? I would have thought. I would have thought. I would have thought. It tastes very nice. Say you are. I don't want to be 
alone down here in the dark? I'm here. So am I. It's a bit warm. We must have fallen a mile underground. We'll never, never get back to the surface. We're in a tomb. No, Paul. What are we to do? Tell me, what are we to do? I wish I still had my tinder box. It would come in handy here. Yeah? Yes, when did you have it last? I was trying to remember. I had it when I gave you the eel stew, you know. I thought it was when the dog chased us into the cave. You might be right, dear. Yeah. Oh, stop it, you two! What difference does it make where he lost it? He lost it. We're in the earth, hundreds of feet below the ground. This time I can't see how we're ever going to get out. I can't see anything. Oh, I'm terribly thirsty. So, what make you here, creatures of the overworld? Who is it? Who's there? I am the warden of the underworld, and with me stands a band of under-earthmen, fully armed. So, quickly, tell me now who you are and what is your purpose here in the deep realm. Well, a band of men sounds very grand, but in this light, how do we know whether you're bluffing or not? You might only have two. Or one. Now do you believe? Well, look at them. Well, if those chaps don't teach me to take a serious view of life, I don't know what will. Did you ever see such sorrowful countenances? So now, answer my question. Why have you come here to the deep realm? We fell down by accident. Many fall down and few return to the sunlit lands. Make you ready now to come with me to the Queen of the Deep Realm. What would she want with us? I know not, young insolence. Her will is not to be questioned but obeyed. Well, stand up. March! underground. She hates being in dark, closed-up spaces like you this. must go on. I, I tell you what, Paul. I'll go first, and, and you can hold on to my heels. And Scrub can go behind you, and he'll hold on to your heels. And That way it won't be too bad. Hmm? I felt just like you do up on that cliff top when we first came here, Paul. Come on, you must try. There is one good thing about being underground. What's that? Don't get any rain. Is that old fellow? That is old Father Time, who was once a king in Overland. Now he has sunk down into the deep realm and dreams of all the things that are done in the world above. They say he will awake. When? At the end of the world. Many sink down, and few return to the sunlit lands. I'm 
so thirsty. So thirsty. Don't worry, Paul. I'm sure we'll find water soon. Look! Oh, water! Come on! Come what on! What are you doing? Stop there! Stop! Stop! Where's your time now? We must go aboard. Ahoy! Is that the person you're taking us to? Person? Hippias child? She's the queen of all this vast underworld. So, creatures of the overworld, go on board! Move! I'm not going anywhere under her banner! Insolence! She is the queen and must be obeyed without question. Come! Second and third signs muff. That's the ruined city on. Back to the ruins, stupid! Just a minute ago said so. We have to get out of Halfbang first. Well, there's clearly one to escape by night. Once we're in our rooms and the door's shut, we can't get out. And if we try to escape in daylight, we'll be seen? Oh dear. Afternoon could still be the best time. When they're dozy after their midday meal. Ooh! Good idea, Paul. Above all, we must be merry. And bright. You two youngsters are not always in high spirits, you know. You must watch me. I'll be ever so merry. Merry. And Folkson. <laughs> Folkson, yeah. You think I'm a funny fellow already in there. You know, you two thought I was rather tipsy last night, didn't you? No. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no. Well, I do assure you it was. Most of it was. Uh, put on, I thought it might come in handy. Anyway, we must appear to be happy here so the giants won't suspect that we're plotting to escape. And we'd better keep our eyes open. And learn as much as we can about this place. What are they? Hang on. You told them to me. I ought to be able to remember them. First, journey north. Well, we've done that. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Oh, that's bad. Oh, journey north until you come to the ruined city of the ancient giants. Three, when you find writing on a stone, do what the writing tells you to do. Oh, but... He always 
this goes just when I want him to explain. Well, the writing says under me. It doesn't make much sense. Yes, it does, though. It means that we've got to look for Prince William under that ruined city. But how? Mm. That's another question. Well, we should just have to go back, I suppose. If we can see the ruined city from here, it can't be far. There's no point in hanging around for the blessed autumn feast. Let's go now. you had any breakfast? Oh, yes. Why, we're trapped in here. Oh, come down, scrub. You're never going to manage it. Anyway, do you think the giants really meant to make us their prisoner? Well, whether they did or not, that's what we are. We never get out of here. I shouldn't wonder. Except... We don't know if we are their prisoners. It's not their fault that everything's too big for us. The important thing is to have a strategy. If we do get out of here, what do we do next? Oh, get right. We must have walked right over it in the snowstorm. It's my fault. I've given up repeating the signs. I've been thinking about them. I could have seen it was a city, even in all that snow. I'm worse. I did see, or partly. I had a feeling we ought to stop. The truth is, we were so keen on getting to this place, ever since we met that woman with the Black Knight. we nearly forgotten about Prince William. I shouldn't wonder if that isn't exactly what she intended. What I don't understand is how could we miss anything as big and clear as those letters? We didn't. You fell into it. Into the E of me. That was the trench with its three side passages. It's clear that the Green Lady, making you think of hot food and hot water, was to make you forget about everything else. Yes, I was right to be angry with me. I should have remembered the signs. 